hey you guys welcome and welcome back we are gonna get into another reading for you guys this is another love reading so interestingly enough the song what is it called just a friend but you say i'm just a friend but you say i'm just a friend girl i can be your fantasy but you say i'm just a friend but you say I'm just a friend. And he was like, I want to know everything. I want to know everything. I want to know. I want to know. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know all the words, but I was hearing that. I want to know. I want to know. That's what I was hearing in my head. So I had to go find a song. And I'm like, okay, what is this song? Um, So you guys could have someone in the friend zone that wants to be more than friends. But they're getting frustrated because you keep saying that they're just a friend. Okay. Maybe that's how you could feel about someone. Um, but there's somebody who wants to really like get to know you, know everything about you. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing though. And you might already understand or be aware of this. Because I was hearing the, I want to know your name. I want to know everything. I want to know. Like I was hearing that in my head before I realized that it was the song um but you say i'm just a friend before i realized that they were connected i was like why does somebody want to know all your business that's kind of what i was getting from that so just be aware somebody may want to know everything about you but it may not be for entirely ethical reasons like this person may not be on the up and up and you may need to watch your back when it comes to people who want to get to know everything about you because sometimes that can be used as a way to control you in other situations. Sometimes that can be used as a way to manipulate you because if someone knows everything about you, they know how like you tick and there's balance that needs to be had in any situation. I always tell y'all that I'm not going to say anything without there being uh, another side to it. There's always going to be another side. Um, and I don't think that it's bad for someone to know everything about you or for you to share things about yourself with a person, but you just have to be very careful, especially around this time where there are a lot of people who are trying to come up quick, or there are a lot of people who are trying to just get what it is that they want. You guys have to be careful that you're not divulging too much information or giving someone too much ammunition that's the word of the day <laughs> make sure that you're not giving someone too much to where they are able to kind of like turn it against you and flip it against you and use it to their advantage in a negative way okay so y'all be sure to like and subscribe so you can continue to catch the vibe book your readings you guys if you have a burning question that you want answered that you just can't seem to figure out or get off of your mind i can guarantee that you will get what you need from the reading if you want to get a personal I know it's scary but you will definitely get your money's worth and hopefully it'll help you okay so the information to book is below I cannot wait to see you guys there I hope these messages help you to figure out what you need to know in your situation I'm I'm feeling hot feeling hot even though the air is on it's blowing i can see it blowing and i can feel it it's definitely blowing let me see yeah Ooh, it's cold i'm just feeling hot maybe the energy but let's see y'all leave me a comment below let me know if it's resonating without giving too much of your information honey okay Thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed, who's booked a reading. Thank you guys. Let's see. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors of the highest vibration, Father, Mother, God, for the collective. When it comes to love, what is the message? What? What? Catfish. Someone's wearing a mask. 
I created a fake identity in order to lure you in. What else is the message for the collective? Opposites attract. So you guys are very similar to this person in some way. So similar yet so different. We're perfect together. So some, this is, okay, this is what it is. Someone is acting like they have the same mentality as you. Someone is acting like they have the same, and this could be confirmation. Like you could already know this about this person, or you could already be aware. Excuse me. That was definitely a burp. Whenever I burp in a reading, and I know that sounds crass, but whenever I burp in a reading, it means that either something has come up or something needs to come up or something is going to come up. So this is going to come up whether you like it or not. So this is going to be up to you to discern and understand and not run away from. Because somebody is trying to act like they're the same as you, that you guys have no differences, that you guys are so alike and you have so much in common. That's why they want to know things about you. They want to find out your history. They want to find out information about you so that they can mimic it back to you. That's what this is. They're creating a fake identity, which is the way that they try to act the same as you. Yeah, mental connection. They're trying to get information out of you in a sneaky way or in a flat out open way. Whether it's covert or overt. They're trying to get the information out of you so they can make you feel like y'all have some type of telepathic mental connection, affection. But whoever this person is, they're not like you. What else for the collective? Never enough. And it almost came out in reverse. It was like slight, slanted. Moments with you, if only I could stop time. So this person may want to speed things up. They may be very clingy, attached, codependent. You may feel this adverse reaction to this person to where it's like they act like they want to be around you all the time, but you're repulsed. Every time you encounter or interact with this person, I feel this energy of them like draining you. You're starting to enjoy being around this person less and less. At the bottom, we have poker face. See what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like this person is trying to make it. I don't know if they're trying to make it seem like they don't really like you that much or that they don't want to be around you that much. Or they're trying to put on a mask in that way where it's like they're trying to act like they don't want you to get you to chase them. Or if it's a situation where you kind of like are indifferent really about this person and you don't really necessarily like them or hate them, but they may be trying to get you to fall in love and, you know, do all of these things. And your intuition could be picking up on the fact that this person is wearing a mask. Okay. Yeah. We pick up after I just said your intuition could be picking up, but it says, I'll pick you up and be a true gentleman. Poker face says, I don't want to reveal how I truly feel. Oof. So it, <laughs> That was crazy. So this person is definitely not showing you what their true intentions are or what their true motives are. I feel like they want to act like a gentleman or act like a lady, and that's not who they are. Friendship, taking it slow, revealing heart, apology, blossoming, love at first sight, luxurious, similar interests butterfly feelings being charmed exactly so someone is trying to bamboozle you they may have been moving really fast in the relationship you told them to slow down this could have possibly caused them to be aware that you were starting to pick up on whatever game that they were playing um, and then they decided to slow down but it's like they're not going to be able to keep this mask on because it takes as I told you guys before it takes too much energy right now in the time that we're in for people to keep up the lies because if you're drained and exhausted just by being yourself and doing what it is that you feel like you have to do you have to imagine that these people are drained and exhausted by being fake even more so than you are by being real okay life is lifing for everyone so what you guys have to remember is right now taking it slow is not a bad thing because 
if someone is truly who they come off to be or who they say they are or who they appear to be, then they'll continue to be that way over time. And they'll enjoy being around you so much that there's no room to like switch up. Like they won't care how long it takes for them to get what they want because it means that you guys are going to build something solid. Someone who wants to rush you doesn't really want to be around you. I feel like this person secretly has animosity towards you and you're picking up on that. And that's why you're not really like feeling them. Like it kind of feels like a person that you're not really into. And it's because you feel like they're not really into you. Somebody may be on the down low LGBTQ plus don't ask me where I'm getting it, but that's what I'm getting. Not for all of you, but for some of you, it could be a person who secretly hates women or men or whoever. I don't know. Like they, they may have some type of self-hatred. If you are in an LGBTQ plus connection and you're dealing with someone of the same sex, they may secretly hate themselves and therefore they hate you. Um, or somebody has like mommy and daddy issues where they hate men or they hate women and they really don't like to be around you, but it's like, they're the type of succubus energy where they want something from you and they know they have to get it from you, even though they don't really like you. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. What else? The butterfly evolving and growth next phase, healing the inner child released in the past. So that's what a lot of you guys could be doing. You're in your butterfly era. You're in your butterfly era. You're coming out of your cocoon. You're coming out of your shell. A lot of you guys are revealing yourselves a lot more to the world. And it's causing for people to be attracted to you. But also like they basically, what do they say about butterflies? Like you can't touch a butterfly's wings or they'll die. Isn't that true? Let me see real quick. Y'all be sure to like the video. Okay. Yeah, some say I I was I asked Google, should you touch a butterfly's wings? And it says, some say you should avoid touching butterfly wings because it can damage them and shorten their butterfly's life. So, yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's like a situation that naturally occurs, something that is a force of nature, which is you. This is describing you. You're a force of nature. You're a very beautiful person. You have a very beautiful spirit. And if you capture that energy in a bottle or you try to control that energy or bottle that energy or like not so much bottle it but trap it or touch it grab it you know if if you don't just observe the beauty of it from afar or even from close up without damaging it then it's going to end up ultimately destroying that beauty yeah partying at the bottom says time with friends having fun happily single living in the moment yeah, coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn, transition, tragic endings. So yeah, you could be done partying with people or you're just done like being in the house. Like there's something that's coming to an end in you guys' life. And I feel like it's bringing in this really positive like transformation for you guys. Something is finally over. Something is dead, done, over with, buried, put to rest for good. This is your new beginning. You're being liberated. And like I said, you're this butterfly coming out of the cocoon. What else for the collective when it comes to love? Coffee cup. Meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. Yeah. Yeah, you're just more sociable. It feels like you're a social butterfly. Oh my God. Some of y'all may have like a butterfly tattoo. Some of y'all may have like butterfly earrings. Okay, I have a butterfly on my little bracelet right there. Okay, some of you, you have something that 
has a butterfly on it or maybe your nickname is butterfly something like that but there's something about butterflies that's significant you may want to look up the habits or behaviors of butterflies you may want to look up facts about butterflies because it's just like drilling away okay sword in the rose clarity truth revelation honor protection determination and picture looking at pictures missing you nostalgia make new memories yeah you may be nostalgic about the past that's fine but i feel like you guys are determined to move forward from the past i feel like there's someone in the past who is determined not to let you go some someone in the past is like very like upset because they're looking at like memories or remembering things maybe even in their mind that have happened between the two of you and you're gonna feel waves of this because you are possibly picking up on someone's energy in there if they're thinking really hard about you it doesn't matter if you've cleansed the person from your life they may still come up in your mind's eye because they're focusing their mind's eye on you that's why i tell a lot of people like just because you have a dream about your ex or someone who you think is your twin flame soulmate doesn't mean that it's for and 1616 was just on the timer when i started talking about this just because you dream about this person or think about this person or hear songs relating to this person doesn't mean that they're either going to reach out or that they should reach out or that you should reach out. It just means that there's something that your spirit team is trying to warn you about or notify you of or let you know regarding that person in the situation. You may hear a song that reminds you of your ex, but it doesn't mean call your ex and it doesn't mean they're going to call you. It could just mean that you are going to learn something or realize something or have a full circle moment about that person or that situation, right? So I feel like that could be happening for you as you meet someone new or as you date someone new, this could be what's happening is that you're having these flashbacks about people or situations from your past that your spirit team kind of wants for you to catch the message on. Like they want you to see what they're trying to show you about that person or about that situation. They don't want you to lament over it or dwell on it or like be upset about it. It's probably also a sign or a notification that someone new is coming in your life. So if this is talking about a person from your past who lied to you, wore a mask, didn't really show their true intentions, it could mean that you're about to be around someone who actually wants to be around you, who doesn't secretly loathe you and hate you. And you're about to meet that person because you're starting to become this butterfly who's emerging from the cocoon and you're breaking out of your shell. And the world is starting to be privileged enough because we are privileged to ourselves and to others around us. And the world is going to begin to have the privilege of seeing you as who you truly are, as how God source, whoever you pray to intended for you to be. Okay. That's really what this feels like. Okay. But let's see. What are the messages for the collective spirit when it comes to this reading? What are the messages for the collective when it comes to love in this reading? Four of Cups. Yeah, you're starting to appreciate things more. There's still some things that I feel like are being worked through when it comes to your past. But you're starting to appreciate the little things more, I feel like. I feel like you're also starting to accept how things in the past have gone and understand that they had to go that way in order for you to have clarity. Yeah, Eight of Wands. And then the Fool card. You may be getting communication from someone who you really... I, I don't think that you don't like this person. But again, either there's someone who you're not attracted to or there's someone who like... You just see them in a platonic way. You see them as a friend. Just a friend. That's the song. Somebody will not let it go. But they want to be more than just friends. However, I don't think they really like you. And I think that's why you're not really into them like that. Because you're picking up on the fact that they don't really like you. This person is going to reach out to you. They're probably going to text you, DM you. And it's like when you see this person's message come in, 
you're kind of indifferent about it. It's like you don't mind talking to them, but you don't want to spend too much time on it. Because I just... Because you're moving on from this. Whatever this is, you're moving on from it. Yeah. I heard the door okay, go get Chris. He's outside. Hurry up. He's knocking. I told y'all that man was knocking on the door hard. And I didn't hear it till just now. And then the baby knocked on the door. But I told them before I came in here that I was going to be working to please open the door for your brother. But you know, it's okay. Yes. It's not Chris. It's not Chris? No. Who is it, Jeremiah? All right, you guys. I didn't even see that man. That was the air conditioning man. Oh, I'm tired. All right, yeah. So let's 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 keep going. Okay. Whoo, child. I have dress up clothes on today, and that always makes me hot. Running up and down the steps. I ran up the steps. I ran down the steps. Then I ran up the steps. Then I ran down the steps. Then I had to come back up. Sorry, I'm winded in your ear. What is this four of cups? Sideways. What is this four of cups? Sideways. For the collective. Two of cups. So yeah, there's a conversation that you're about to have with someone. Or like I said, communication coming in. Or there's a person who you're about to meet. You may be meeting several people who are kind of like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, Eight of Swords, King of Wands. It could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, possibly a Gemini or a Cancer. Maybe Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's coming in really fast towards you. And you're kind of like a little bit worried about it. It feels like you're a little worried about it because you're kind of like, what do they want? Yeah, six of swords, they're coming towards you. And you're trying to figure, yes, yeah, seven of swords with some type of ulterior motives. And you're like, what do they want? 
Because in the past, I feel that you created a strategy to be single and now people are coming in and you're like, okay, the one time that I actually want to be single, now everybody wants to talk to me. And that kind of goes along with like you sticking to your strategy, making promises to yourself. If you told yourself that you wanted to be single and then you have all these people coming in to try to get you to reconsider that, it's for a reason. It's like that's the enemy trying to throw off your plans or get you distracted from what you said you were going to do. And then it's like you know that it's a distraction because you ain't really even you don't even really like these people. Yeah, six of pentacles, another six. We saw the six of cups, six of pentacles, six of swords. So something is trying to get your attention and it's trying to distract you from what it is that you really need to be putting um, first as a priority, which could be yourself, could be your work, it could be your finances. Somebody's trying to distract you from your priorities or that is their purpose. Yep, Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Okay. They're trying to steal. Ooh, look at this. See, okay, the Queen of Wands. This is how you look right now. You could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. You could have fire in your chart. Whatever it is, you're looking very good. You're looking confident. You're looking attractive. You have a light coming. Look at the power in your hands. Just by you shaking someone's hand or touching someone, you give that electricity to that person. And you see the Five of Pentacles is like a depletion. It's the total opposite of that. There is a person coming towards you because they are begging for you to give them a piece of that. And if you don't give it to them because you fall for their tricks, they're going to try to take it from you. That's the light. They're going to try to take your light. And it's going to leave you feeling like this five of pentacles, excuse me, like this four of cups, it came up already. You're realizing it because every time they contact you, you're tired. You're exhausted. Okay. What's hidden from the collective in this situation? Six, six of wands, your success, your victory, your attention. Okay. Somebody wants your attention. Somebody wants to get your attention. Somebody wants to dis distract your attention from what you're working on. This could be a clout chaser. This could be some type of, because they're coming in really fast, mentally and physically, trying to make it seem like there's an emotional connection when there's really not. It's really just mental and physical. This is about you healing. This is about you not communicating with someone, or this is about someone planning on ghosting you. Someone just wants attention. Someone is a clout chaser. Nine of wands and the devil, a succubus. You hear the beeping. Someone's trying to break down your boundaries or break down your barriers. If you set a boundary with someone, they expect to be able to break it somehow. Could be sexually. What's the six of wands? But it's like this person is just very toxic, attention-seeking. Yep, you already know this. What's hidden is that your intuition is letting you know this moment is a sign that is being confirmed by your intuition, letting you know that you're about to be very successful. Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords, you know that this person is going to disappoint you because they're going to leave you hanging or they're going to leave you behind. So they're going so they gonna to try to come take your energy, siphon it, whether it's talking to you on the phone too long, draining your energy, making you tired, whether it's uh, physical, sexual, whether it's, I don't know, emotional. I don't care what it is. This person is a problem. 
You're being guided away from this person. You're going to be having some type of sleepless nights if you deal with this person. Or there's going to be some type of fear or anxiety. This person could have just broken up with someone. They could be trying to like gain back their confidence by stealing yours. Taking yours away in some way. What's the six of wands? The sun, Jesus Christ. Yeah, your intuition is going to be illuminated. The truth about what you need to know and what you need to do is going to be very clear because you're going to feel it. They could also be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. You could have a Leo coming in or a Pisces coming in in the future who's very successful or this is you. Your intuition is telling you to stay single, be free. Because there's something about you gaining some type of success or having a platform, being on a stage, pe being put on a pedestal, raised up, given a promotion, something like that. Yeah, nine of swords, ten of swords. Wow. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is going to highlight some type of anxiety or pain that you've been through. It's something about like either the pain that they've been through is being projected onto you and amplifying some type of pain that you've been through, or that's the way that they're going to try to attack you mentally. That's why they want to know everything about you because they want to know how to amplify that pain and make you nervous or afraid about things that you've already healed from by communicating with you about it. <clears throat> It feels like someone wants to communicate in a very petty way or bring things up. Oh, well, yeah, you know, you know, because you you've been through so much with so and so and you you had to do so much and you got through so much. But, you know, you good now. But I know I know that was hard. You know, I know that you're dealing with some things or it could be like reverse psychology where you may be speaking to a person in a very uplifting way. But then they speak to you in a very negative way. What what example could I give? It's like. It's like when somebody says it's not me, it's you. No, it's not you, it's me. You see how that slipped out? It's kind of like when somebody says it's not you, it's me. And then. Somebody's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. It is probably you because you've been through so much and, you know, you've had so many problems or, you know, it's, and it's like instead of taking accountability for what could be their part of it, it's like you're taking accountability or you're being transparent or you're being self-reflective and you're trying to rise above some type of like animosity or conflict with a person, possibly trying to really get to know someone for who they are, trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. But I feel like this person just don't like you. They're very judgmental, okay? That's what's hidden. What is the collective's advice, y'all? Jesus. For the near future, what is their advice, spirit, that you have? Oh, wow. 10 October significant shift. Pisces, Sagittarius, the Wheel of Fortune. There's a significant shift in your family dynamics as well. If it's not Pisces or Sag, possibly Cancer or Scorpio, there is a significant shift in your home life, in your family life with your parents, your children, your immediate family, people who you love and care about. And nurture on a regular basis. People who deserve your time and energy. Um, something is being brought back around. I heard reunion. So there could be a family reunion or something could be being brought back around or come back around towards you. If someone from the past comes back around, though, I would just be very mindful that they're not delusional or 
that they're not trying to put delusions in your mind. But I think this is mostly positive. It's like your advice is to basically like move on from the past and like move into this new reality. Because I feel like that's what it is. Yeah, the six of cups. Yeah. Move into this new reality. Ace of wands underneath the six of cups. Move into this new reality. Take this new opportunity. Grab this new bull by the horns. Whatever you want to call it. Follow this new hunch. Elaborate on this new idea. If this is an opportunity that's coming back around for you to do something that you weren't able to do in the past, I feel like you should take it, but not necessarily when it comes to a relationship or a person. It could be, for some of you, it could be a relationship or a person that you let let go and they've come back to you, but I would just be mindful if it's a person. It feels more like an opportunity of financial abundance or wealth or creativity something that you're passionate about and it doesn't feel like an actual human being it feels like an actual like opportunity what's the will of fortune in the ten of cups the moon yeah keep the good things that are happening and changing for you in your life a secret don't tell people the good things that are happening and i know you're gonna want to but I don't think that you should right now until it's fully completed or the dream is fully realized. There's something that you're about to start that is going to require a lot of energy, a lot of time. You're going to have to physically be ready to take an opportunity. And the more drained you are by people from your past or the more drained that you are by like situations, the less that you'll have to put into whatever this new thing is. And it's the beginning of it. So it's creating this shift that you don't see underneath the surface that's helping your dreams come true. And your spirit team, it's like they really want you to understand how precious this is. Because if you tell your family or you tell your friends or you tell people around you that maybe are interested in you, what you have going on, they know how much of that Queen of Wands energy you have, and they're already turning the wheels in their mind. The gears are grinding and see somebody's crazy. Insanity. Cuckoo. Okay. And I'm seeing a cuckoo clock. So it's something about time. Like this is your time to pop out. And that's what I was getting with the butterfly energy. You don't see this coming. Yep, five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, exactly. Whatever you're working on, you need to keep the door closed to people who don't take initiative, to people who don't want to get up off their ass and pick up the key and open the door themselves. Because this feels like a clout chaser was coming into your life. You're getting something that you want, nine of cups. You're getting something that you want and you don't see it coming, but there's somebody waiting for you to open the door for them. And I just feel like, the key is right there. They could pick up the goddamn key and open the fucking door themselves. Sorry, not sorry. What's the will of fortune? The world. This totally new cycle, the empress. This could even be a pregnancy for some of you. This could be talking, this reading could be talking about a friend or a family member who's jealous of you or they want to know everything about you all the time. And I'm telling you, it's because they want to be passive aggressive and say things that make you feel negative about the good things that you have going on in your life or they don't fully congratulate you. They'll say things or do things that make you feel like they don't really care about what you have going on. Yeah, five of swords. <sighs> Page of Cups, they're jealous and envious, whatever you're growing. It doesn't have to be a literal baby. Some of y'all are pregnant. But for some of you, it's just something new and beautiful in your life that would be the energetic equivalent to what a baby is or to what a new job is. Okay, hold on.
It's the same energetic vibration as a new job, a new business, a new baby. Okay? Something that you're happy about, look, and you're celebrating in the background and somebody else feels this five of swords. You're going to be really happy. Something you're doing right now in Leo season, by Pisces season, you're going to be really happy. So February, uh, March, I was getting October. For some of you guys, what's going on in October is going to like bleed over to February, March. What's the moon? The Page of Cups. Six of Cups. Three of Swords. This feels like a childhood dream or goal. Yeah, the devil. Somebody's trying to attach to your dreams or your goals or attach themselves to you like, oh, we're family and y'all aren't blood relatives or something like that. Hermit, Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo, Hermit and a Page of Swords. Somebody's investigating a lot about you or trying to find out a lot of, about your childhood or something. I don't know. Or somebody's trying to figure out if you're pregnant or somebody's just trying to figure out what your dreams are, what your goals are so that they can try to ruin it. I'm telling you, that's what it is. That's what it is. I'm telling you. Cause you see like, the, the devil is like, oh, yeah, what are your dreams? What are your goals? When pigs fly, that's how they feel. Like, oh, collective, they're going to get that when pigs fly. That's what how they want to make you feel with that little puppet strings. They want you to be their little puppet to harvest your energy and bring things that they want into fruition, speechless. When you find out how bad somebody's been playing games with you, you're going to be speechless. Yep, somebody's not going to be able to talk. This is actually magic because somebody has a snake tongue and it's going to get tangled up and they're not going to be able to lie anymore. That's why, like, magic is not just a cauldron and a grinder and you mixing herbs together. It's your thoughts. It's your words, how you speak, your actions, what you do. Someone has been talking a lot of shit. And the backfire or the boomerang of their magic talking shit is that they're not going to be able to talk anymore. Someone may lose their voice. Whether it's speaking, singing, whatever they do with their voice, they won't be able to do it anymore. Because their snake tongue is getting tangled up. What else does the collective need to know? They're not going to be able to speak on your name anymore. I don't know what this is, okay? Just listen to what I'm saying. Knowledge. You may be getting light of some situation that you've been going through. Things are going to start making sense. I feel like the true star is rising to the top. Another burp. Something is definitely coming to the surface. And it feels like there's a lot of secrets. It's time for something to come to the surface, October, March, significant, okay? Maybe Leo season next year, yeah. Time is of the essence, there's an important time period or particular date that is coming up where you're gonna gain this knowledge about whoever this toxic person is or whatever this toxic situation is. What else? accidents <laughs> they're gonna say it was an accident this person could have gotten into a car accident they're gonna say it was an accident it was a mistake they're lying pretending toxic they're lying they're a fucking liar and it's pissing me off you may be invited to something i don't know if you should go because whoever's inviting you is this toxic person who's been lying maybe you do want to go 44 44 was just on the timer figure out what's going on 
I don't know. But just be careful, okay? If you plan on going somewhere where somebody invited you to go there and something, God forbid, happens to where you can't go or there's like an accident blocking your way on the route, okay? I would definitely suggest that you turn back around and go home because that is your sign that that person is, I wanted to say a Jezebel, Lord, that that person is not in your best interest or they're the one who's toxic. One more card for the collective, please. What do they need to know? Yeah, surveillance. They, whoever this is has been watching you. Someone could be keeping a very close eye on you. There may be a situation in your life that needs reviewing. Yeah. So whatever this information is that you're about to receive about this person with this forked tongue, they're going to claim it was an accident, but they're lying. Yeah, favor. Somebody's been watching you. They want to ask you for a favor or they feel like they've done a lot of favors for you. So they're entitled to know your business. Yeah, and your spirit is telling you to protect yourself, protect your joy, protect your happiness, protect your life. Okay. They may feel like they helped you out a lot. Somebody feels entitled to your energy and it's just going to be a no. For real, it's going to be a no. I feel like I need to pull some of these. And how are you going to say something is an accident when there's surveillance or that you've been watching? If there is a car accident, there is surveillance footage. So you may need to check with the businesses around the area where the accident was. Yeah, somebody's in denial. 10-10, but they can't be in denial any further. Maybe this is you. Just take it how it resonates. What else does the collective need to know? Unnecessary worries. That's what this person is causing you. Unnecessary worries and stress to the point where you may have even gotten into an accident because you were driving too fast, talking on the phone, trying to text them. Like this is a situation where if you're not careful and you pour too much energy into this person's games, shenanigans, nonsense, you could be trying to, you know, text them or answer the phone or something and it causes an accident. That's the... I, I, God forbid, I don't want that to happen, but that's like what spirit is warning you about. They don't want you to get so invested and so involved that you're putting yourself at a detriment, whether it's a literal accident or a metaphorical accident, honesty and truth. Yeah, this is a test. So someone was being tested through you. You're also being tested, but I feel like this is really a situation where you were being very honest and truthful with the person. And they were being tested as to how they were going to treat you. But instead of being honest and truthful back, they were causing you some type of unnecessary stress or worries. The actions I feel like you took in the situation were very genuine. But this person was fake towards you. And they did not have to be. This could even be one of your parents. This could be a friend. It could be a lover. Someone you have children with. You may have been, if this was a parent specifically, like if your mother passed away or your father passed away, you were not allowed to be in this other parent's home. So whichever parent that you lost you didn't get raised by that other parent. You went to like an aunt or an uncle or a family member. Your information was kept hidden from this person because they would, they would have, if they had access to you, this evil parent that some of you guys have, they would have tainted your mind since you were a child. And there would have been so much confusion to where it would have made it even harder for you to move forward from whatever this is. Some of you may be finding out that an estranged parent or a delinquent absentee parent is passing away or dying or has died. And you may be like having a lot of unanswered questions about why you couldn't like spend more time around this person. And it was because they were probably evil. And I'm just being real. Like, I don't want to be like hurtful, but that's what it feels like. 
is that you were hidden from this parent so that you wouldn't have you so your soul would not be destroyed some of you have children if especially you were in a situation with a uh, an evil spouse somebody who really just tried to unalive you with their actions towards you like they tried to get you to unalive yourself or they tried to stress you out so bad that you would just you know croak over your child especially if you have a boy a son your child has a lot of intuitive gifts from like the ethers that are coming down to them there's a there's a bright light shining on them from the heavens like if you could see the light that was shining on each of us from the heavens based on our gifts and based on our destiny and what we're meant to do like if there was actually a spotlight on us where the brightness was differentiated between like how we were living our lives and how much we've done positively for humanity and things like that you would see that either either this is you and your mother knew this or your father knew this whoever the good parent was knew this or you know this about your child as well but you need to know especially if you had like a horrible spouse because it kind of feels like a cycle that repeats that I feel like is coming to an end and it's ending. There's a happy ending to a really negative cycle. Um, if that is you and your ex-wife, ex-husband, baby mama, baby daddy was just the devil and you know that they're the devil and you know they have a demonic entity on them or there's something going on with them on that level, your child is going to be so like amazing. Your child is shining so brightly it's not gonna the ending to the story it, it ain't over yet spirit is saying it ain't over it ain't over for that baby it ain't over for you and you could definitely come from a long line of people who have avoided this type of tomfoolery and bullshit because they were anointed it feels like an anointed family an anointed bloodline an anointed lineage an anointed ancestry but everyone is not included so you can't say that like because you might have family members who are jealous of this because they see that light as like a spotlight shining on you and it's always been shining on you and they may be jealous ex-friends fake friends ex-lovers fake people in your life who are wearing these masks are jealous of you because you have this spotlight on you. You could literally be famous. Some of you have children who are meant to be famous or to do something that changes the world or that's what you're doing or that's what you're meant to do. So your spirit team is trying to wake you up to the fact that you have these energies around you. Yeah, because you give genuine love. Yes, look. And someone tried to taint you or block this from being able to happen like who do you think you are to think that you get to shine so brightly and i this and i that and sounds like a bitter ass parent a toxic parent who's jealous of their own child so i don't know if this is your parent who's jealous of you or your ex who's jealous of your child and it's their child or maybe you have a child from a, a another relationship and you have maybe two different baby mamas, two different baby daddies, two ex-husbands, two ex-wives. One of your ex-husbands or ex-wives or baby mamas or baby daddies is jealous of your new child. Or that's what's going to happen, especially if you're pregnant. Okay. One more card. String along. Yeah. Causing unnecessary worry, stringing you along. This is just about people who say they're going to do things and then they don't do it. Not serious, leading you on, often on communication, inconsistencies, actions, not matching words. Whoever this person is, either they're being watched or they're watching you. Either somebody feels entitled to your energy and it's because they feel like they've done so much favors for you. That they feel like 
You deserve to protect them with your energy, which I feel like all of these are the case. So, so let me run it down. Either this person has been watching things happen to you and they feel entitled to those things, blessings, because they feel like they've done so many favors for you. But I don't think these are favors. That's manipulation. Somebody may, wants to make you think or project that they were doing so much for you, but they really weren't doing shit, but taken from you. So they're watching you and they're acting like it's an accident or they're acting like, um, I don't know. They're just faking. There's also a situation here where someone is watching you receive favors from other people and they may be trying to cause something to happen that's bad. And that's why they're like being tested. They failed because they tried to cause something negative to happen when actually you were someone who was supposed to bless their life and they are going to watch their life basically crumble in front of their eyes. And there's nothing that they're going to be able to do about it because they intentionally tried to cause havoc in your life and acted like they didn't mean to do it. Now there's another message where you need to be mindful of this person being around you. And I feel like that's why spirit will literally get you in a car accident. You will not be hurt in this accident. It may be a bumper thing, fender bender, whatever they call it. But if you continue to go towards this person, your car is going to start breaking down. You're going to not have the money to put gas in your car, whatever it is that they have to do to stop you from being around this person, because either they're going to be in an accident or they are being watched by some type of surveillance corporation who's surveilling somebody's watching this motherfucker and you don't need to be in that energy they're gonna ask you for a favor oh can you give me a ride no can you do that no they are being surveilled they're being watched by someone either a person who is violent or dangerous that you should not um pop up on the radar of or a corporation or a company who's surveilling this person like maybe tax fraud child support fraud uh, government assistance fraud, some type of like company or corporation is watching this person and they are not going to be able to say that something was an accident because there's literally proof or it was intentionally done. But I feel like someone tried to do that to you and it did not work. So the same thing that they tried to do to you is happening to them. They're being surveilled. You do not be need to be in that surveillance. Could be CIA, FBI, could be the police. I don't know. But somebody is being surveilled or watched. This could even be by spirit. And you do not need to be seen encountering or like being around this person. I don't know how else to say it, okay? Because knowledge of something is being brought to the surface but you are protected with that protection card but your spirit team is like we can only do so much to protect you so if your ass is hard-headed and you still are around this person and you know they're a criminal or you know they do bad things we cannot protect you okay proceed progress yep they keep making you think that you guys are moving forward or that there's progress being made or that there's some type of equal reciprocity but that's a lie. They're stringing you along, causing unnecessary stress, making you think that something is going to work out. And then they basically, they make you think something is going to work out. And then they pull the rug out from under you. So it's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. It didn't work out. And it's because of me, because that's what you get, bitch. That's this person's attitude. They really hate you. Let's get a time card because we pulled the time card earlier. What's an important time frame? May. So Taurus, Gemini season. May. I said October. I still stand on that. And February, March. Sooner than expected. And February. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody's getting caught up sooner than expected. By May, this person might be in jail. Yep. Something is happening in a few days. Based on what happened in May. I feel like this is about the past. These last three months, 
by February, something is going to be dead, done, and over with for good. Somebody just may be in a bad, like, situation. Somebody could have been hiding money with the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Moving money secretly. Not communicating about their income. Not communicating about, like, money coming in. And moving it around. Yeah, this is a decision someone made. Ooh, the devil. Two of Wands, the devil. This. What's in May? I'm just being nosy now, bitch. Okay. Ooh, Six of Wands, Page of Wands. You will have successfully, like, overcome this or been protected from this. You will, like, maybe you successfully blocked this. Your success is going to be confirmed in May or a victory for you is going to be confirmed in the month of May. Someone's using you or someone you love, a child, a family member, a parent as a shield to prevent themselves from going to jail, being caught, whatever. Okay. The lovers in the sun. Yeah. You're going to see you've been making a lot of good decisions since May. And by next May, you're going to see why. Because all of this is going to come to the surface. I want to see what's the sun card. Because the six of wands is, this is associated with what's hidden. What's the sun card down here? Hierophant. What's the sun card? Oh, justice reversed. Five of pentacles and the seven of wands. Somebody blocked some money or somebody blocked an opportunity or somebody sh shut you out or you shut someone out. Take it how it resonates. Five of Pentacles. My right ear is ringing. But this was either illegal, unfair, unjust, or it was, um, it was basic. It could have, it could have been something that revoked a contract or made a contract null and void, or this could be something that's illegal or something that someone did that goes against what was already in writing in a contract. Yeah. Cause the Hierophant came out too. There's like a breach of contract here that's being discovered. I'm hearing NDA. I don't know what this is, but there's some type of breach of contract. Someone broke a commitment. You may be finding out why a divorce is taking so long, why something is being held up in court, why you why you haven't been getting paid or whatever this is. You're going to find out what's been blocking your money. What's this justice reversed? Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's been hiding money or resources or working outside of the parameters of a contract. I don't know what this is. Seven of Wands. I don't think I'm supposed to know. But it's like somebody's mother could be involved in this. Maybe their mother is dying so they can't do this anymore. I don't know, bitch. What's the seven of swords? I didn't even really want to get into this. Reading. Yeah, magician. Someone's being sneaky. Whoever this is, is being sneaky. Yeah, trying to manipulate your feelings and distract you from what's really going on. So you can't see what's about to happen. Yeah, seven of wands keeps coming out. Ace of Swords, trying to block you from seeing the truth. I can't even see what this is. Yep, but the Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, someone's going to regret whatever this is because they're being judged for it. Judgment is coming down, and it was slow because there was a lot of details that had to be worked out, and they are going to regret doing this fuck shit. But that's the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Pentacles. Somebody's finances are shifting or changing or that somebody's um, losing a job. Someone could be getting fired. I don't know what this is, but I said what I had to say and they want me to move on. So let's get some advice <laughs> because child, what the fuck? Like literally the secrets that are, I just heard it in my head. They told me to name the reading this. The secrets coming out are going to blow your mind. Like, I feel like I had a reading like that. 
Wait. Real quick. Hold on. I just want to see real quick if I feel like I did a reading like that recently. Talking about something about secrets coming out, blowing your mind. Let me see. Real quick. Because I don't want to repeat a title, but... Seems crazy. It wasn't a love reading. I feel like it was on the main channel. The Nutcase Network. Recently. Oh, wow. It was the justice coming towards you will blow your mind. But spirit wants this to be understood first. I don't know. I'm going to name it. The secrets coming out will blow your mind because they I feel like they're connected. The two readings are connected. So if you want to go watch that one, feel free. But what's the advice for the collective when it comes to these messages? This is crazy. Ooh. You're going to get confirmation that you won or you have a victory coming. Somebody wants to make you think that you don't have a victory by distracting you or keeping information from you that you were supposed to receive. I don't know. The journey wasn't the smoothest or the most pleasant lately, but everything is coming together. Your patience, strength, and perseverance will soon be rewarded. The wait is almost over. Hold on. Your spirit team is working, bitch. Your spirit team is working. They are putting in work to turn this around to where it will not come back on you. That's why it's taking so long. That's why sometimes, me too, me too, okay? Because I'm talking to me too. Sometimes we got to chill the fuck out. Sometimes we got to sit down. Sometimes, bitch, you need to calm down and find you something to do, ho. Because they're trying to make it so that you don't get fucked over in the process. They couldn't do in a raid. I'm getting like a raid, like someone's home being raided. And if you were still hanging around, they're like, God damn, this this hard-headed motherfucker won't take their ass home. Like, it's that type of energy. Get out of there. If people are gossiping about you or spreading rumors, don't fall for it. No one is worth lowering your vibration for. Let it move through you. See it for what it is, which is a reflection of their pain rather than the result of your actions. So somebody wants to be, somebody wants to have company in their misery. That's not about you. Somebody wants you to suffer with them and you're not supposed to. And spirit has spoken, bitch. You can't do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. Change comes from thinking thoughts you've never thought before and showing up to meet them down streets you've never walked before. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope it helped. Be sure to book your personals today, you guys. If you have a burning question that you want answered, I'm here to answer it for you. The link is below if you want to book. I cannot wait to see you guys there. If you did book a reading and you didn't get it yet, more than likely you will get your reading tomorrow. Okay, I'm filming this on Wednesday. So I mean, you'll get it by Thursday or you should have it by Thursday. But thank you guys so much. Be sure to like and subscribe to continue to catch this vibe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait, that's it. That's all. <laughs> Bye.